Welcome back to my channel, Cosmetic Bell Grave here. Excuse me, I'm looking rough. I literally took a little nap and just woke back up. Thank you for tuning in. In this video, I'm gonna talk about your must-have essentials for every trimester. So I'm in my third trimester um, of pregnancy and there are just certain things that I feel you should know about. Um, um, if you're a first time mom like myself, um, or even if you, you know, haven't been pregnant in a while, um, technology consistently updates and um, we find out new things about pregnancy and their new studies and just a lot of new research and a lot of cool things that are put out there for moms. So I'm just going to go over a couple of really cool things um, that has helped me during my pregnancy and that could possibly help you. And I hope you like what I have. So stay tuned and let's get into it. Okay, so the very first thing I'm gonna start off with was like, kind of like my fear, like one of my fear. It was kind of like, oh my God, I don't want these. So stretch marks. So I know it's, it's genetic essentially. And I didn't want these because my mom had five kids and she had like stretch marks. Mom got stretch marks from all of her kids, you know? So I was like, okay, let me get ahead of the game. And, you know, it's kind of inevitable. Some people say, you know, they can use certain things and then don't get it. Some people get it while using things. Some people, you know, get it at the very end. I got it at the very end of my trimester. Like right now I'm, I'm like, I'm 34 weeks and I just started getting stretch marks like when I hit like 31 weeks, so. But, um, so my suggestion to try to help and possibly prevent stretch marks. So I use, I use um, the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. Also Shea Butter works good. And then I also use this Bio Oil. So this little thing is like $6, but you can buy the big one for like $13. They sell in Target. And you know, you can find Cocoa Butter anywhere and you can buy shea butter from the hair store you know from a little african shop jamaican shop um and just combine these two you first use the cocoa butter or shea butter and then apply the oil over your belly and then you just rub it in um i have a short video of that and this has helped me like tremendously i do have a short video um showing how I use and apply my um, bio oil and cocoa butter. The next thing I have is a tummy carrier. And um, my little sister put me on this, but also my midwife um, told me it was really, really useful. This, and I'll put all of these things in like my Amazon storefront. But um, this tummy carrier, I got this off of Amazon in a, uh, I think in a medium, but I was still getting a large. Um, but I'm still, I'm 34 weeks in, I can still use it. So basically it's like you wrap it around your belly, you wrap it like this, or depending on your size, you hook it and then, I don't know if you can see, but it's like hook, it wraps around your body. And then you just wrap it around and pull it. So it supports the weight of the baby. Um, I have lower, bad lower back pain and just cause my baby's so heavy, it's getting heavy and I'm not even that big. My baby's about five pounds right now. So um, the tummy carrier is just really amazing. Next, so I definitely suggest this. So since I do have back pain, um, I use Epsom salt. So um, I'll set a hot bath or my husband will set a hot bath for me and I'll just sit in the tub <laughs> and I'll use um, Dr. Teal's you know you can use whatever kind you want um, I just use it um, I just use the ones I use the the Epsom salt that says eases aches and pains um, and literally when I tell you I feel so much better when I get up the tub it's like amazing um, I love that so I would definitely suggest like if you're feeling like leg cramps um, you know I or um, cramps in your belly, back pain. If like you hold all of that tension in your lower back, I would definitely suggest you getting drawn a bath and putting Epsom salt in there and just sit and relax, definitely. Um, so definitely stretching is 
is very much good. <laughs> um, and I kind of suck at it, but um, so I use also a medicine ball to kind of sit on and do a variety of stretches. You can ask your doctor, you know, the variety of stretches, but I sit down, but I sit down on it and I stretch my back. Like I, uh, I stretch out my lower back and I just, you know, bounce on it. Um, it's so helpful. Like this medicine ball. Um, and honestly, I got this because my husband does physical therapy, so um, he just had one in the house. So this is what I use when I'm sure you can find one in stores or in, um, on Amazon. Um, and then along with that, I uh, my husband will help me do the perineal, um, the peri, perineal, perinatal, perineal <laughs> um, massages um, on my vagina, you know, to prepare to give birth. So. Um, know what that is but yes definitely medicine ball medicine ball is a plus pregnancy pillow pregnancy pillow is okay so it's hit or miss so i personally i used it in my first and second trimester in my later later in my second trimester i didn't use it that's when i started to get very uncomfortable now in my third trimester i cannot use it but i do have a pregnancy pillow and it's huge so this is like the top and then this is like the full you see how it's like formed and then you see like this so this is my pregnancy pillow my whole body can fit in it right um and you can like curve it around your body um some women they use it to if they want to lay like on their stomach they'll create like a hole to lay their body that's not suggested but it does take the weight off of you. Um, you know, some women wrap it um, and put their leg up and put it in between their legs, you know, prop your head up. You know, however you can use it to support your body. I just could not do it. I, could, I had a very, and I still have a very hard time getting comfortable. So the pregnancy pill is kind of useful, <laughs> useless for me right now. Um, but it is uh, very much, when you, when I first uh, became pregnant, it was very helpful. So I would definitely suggest that, <clears throat> you know, just to to um, ease ease your your pain or and to just make you sleep better, um, depending, you know, on on who you are. And I personally, I don't really like firmness. I'm like more of a soft, like I love a soft bed. Like I love sleeping on everything soft. Like some people are like, wow, you you sleep like I love seeping into my bed. <laughs> like. Um, <clears throat> Like, I have a sleep number band, and I put it on, like, 45, which is super soft, compared to, out of 100, 100 is, like, more firm, I put it on 45. So, if that tells you how much, I, like, cozy I like to be, that is the way that I sleep. Compression socks. So, um, this isn't really compression socks, but it's kind of like it. Um, I just ordered some. Um, definitely help with, with your, with your calves to prevent blood clots or, um, uh, any veins not varicose veins but um it's just to prevent um any popping out of the veins i can't think of the actual name at the moment right now but um just to prevent that um any clotting so that's very very useful compression socks especially in your third trimester so one thing i never knew about pregnancy i was so oblivious to this Make sure you carry a water bottle everywhere with you and make sure it's filled. Make sure you're drinking your water. So I believe I started to get extremely thirsty like the first trimester and I never knew why because I'm pregnant. Um, your, your, your body is trying to form the baby, especially in the first trimester, your body's forming the baby all the way up until the last trimester. That baby is drinking that amniotic fluid inside of you. And so you need to consistently replenish yourself. Um, you're supposed to drink a gallon, at least a gallon a day. It's so hard for me. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. I'm terrible. I drink water. Honestly, I was way better at drinking water before I got pregnant. But now, I, yeah, I, for some reason, I, I'm just so bad at drinking water. But I used to carry a gallon around. Um, this is just like a maybe a 16 ounce. But I consistently fill it like all the time because I just, just got sick of carrying a big old water gallon of water around with me um but constantly drinking water you're gonna wake up at 
in the middle of the night, dry throat, feeling like you are in the Sahara Desert, like consistently drink lots of water. That's something that I didn't know. Get you a water bottle, constantly fill it up, drink that water. You, you got to drink water for you and your baby, you know. You want to be healthy, drink water. So, um, and you can get, you know, a water bottle from, from anywhere. I used to have um, a water bottle to where it'll, it would keep the water, like, really cold. I'll put ice in it and it'd be cold all day. Um, but it was, like, really big and I just got tired of carrying it out. So I just have a regular water bottle because I'm consistently drinking it. So I'm going to, it's going to stay cool because I drink it pretty fast. So I'll just refill it up at work. Um, at my job, we have, like, filtered water. So I'll just go get some and drink it. They say alkaline water is the best as well. So definitely make sure you are hydrated because you're not going to feel good if you do not drink water um, you're, for you or your baby. Along with being dehydrated. Um, oh, another thing is, so I also um, buy Pedialyte. So, like, if you do have a hard time drinking water like I did, I would get Pedialyte, which... Um, gives you electrolytes and then so i do a little bit of Pedialyte and then mainly water so I can have a little bit of flavor um you know and so I'll just mix it in with um I'll you know dilute the Pedialyte and then drink my water so I, it'd be a little flavorful and I'm getting electrolytes as well so along with that with being like super thirsty and you know feeling like you're in a desert your lips my lips will tend to get chapped so I'll always carry around some chapstick. This is like Vaseline, um, lip therapy, just some simple stuff. Always have chapstick Vaseline because your lips will be so dry. Even when you're drinking water, your lips are going to be so dry. So make sure you keep some chapsticks sis, for real. Like from as soon as you find out you're pregnant, make sure you keep some chapstick around and some water. A lot of things that you need to take as far as vitamins. Um, so for vitamins, um, and for nausea, so um, I was extremely nauseous in the first trimester. Um, the second trimester, it kind of stopped, but the nausea was rough for me. Um, they say take B6, they say take Unisom, um, but honestly, you got thug it out. <laughs> like, um, I mean, some people say, you know, when they um, eat salt crackers, the salt will dry up um, your saliva and make you not nauseous. But here's a trick to the nausea. So the reason you're nauseous is because you don't want to eat anything. You're nauseous because you don't want to eat anything, but you have to eat food. That's the, that's the only reason you're nauseous. So like once you eat, you're not going to be nauseous anymore because you're not going to feel the baby forming, if that makes sense. So to get rid of the, the more thing, to get rid of nausea, you have to eat. You have to force yourself to eat. Like, and, and. That has just been my experience. Um, taking B6, taking the, the B6 didn't help me. I would take two of them, um, like, for like for every meal. So, and that wouldn't help me. Um, the Unisom would make me sleepy. It would just knock me out, and I'd wake up. If I got to go pee, because you pee frequently, then I would just wake up and then still be feel the nausea. So, that didn't help me. Luckily, my baby was pretty good, because when I had to go to work during the week, I never had morning sickness. Um, but when I laid my body down and on the weekends, I would feel nausea. It was crazy. So, um, yeah, so definitely, um, to get rid of that, um, nauseous feeling, eat some food, eat some food and drink some water. That's what you need. Even though like you're feeling sick and the food is smelling nasty, like not good, like makes you want to throw up, eat some food. And if you throw up, Hey, you throw up. But make sure you eat some food because that'll get rid of the nausea and that'll nourish the baby. Um, so so for some more um, vitamins. So since I am a first time mom, I'm uh, pre-exposed to preeclampsia. Mm -hmm. So um, so my midwife, she um, prescribed baby aspirin for me or aspirin for me to take. Um, she prescribed aspirin. <clears throat> she prescribed aspirin for me to take from the beginning of my um, pregnancy to prevent preeclampsia. Um, this is gen uh, uh, a judgment thing up to you. Like some people say, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Like, why do you need to take it? But, you know, first time mothers, you know, since this is the first time their body is going through pregnancy, then you should take it. But 
is really totally up to you. You're free to use your judgment. So you can use um, baby aspirin. Um, let's see. So along with baby aspirin, you can take, you know, um, it's advised to take your prenatal pills, um, which, which gives you everything, all of those nutrients. Um, it's also, you can also take probiotics. Um, I was still taking my probiotics and um, my daily vitamins, women's vitamins as well with everything. Um, and also I was like low on iron. So sometimes, um, so they prescribe me, um, iron pills and then I was on vitamin D. So they prescribed me like vitamin D to take once a week. So, um, I will set my husband, he will set up my pill, um, container like once a week and have all my pills laid out. So this is really easy to um to kind of keep track of you know um monday or sunday through saturday and just you know have all of your pills oh, also constipation comes with being pregnant so um i would take two fiber gummies as well to you know so i'm not constipated and i also um would take magnesium glycinate i would so i would take magne magnesium glycinate and if you know magnesium is a healthy mineral um that you can take but also magnesium makes you go to the bathroom <laughs> it gets all that stuff out um but it's very healthy for you so i would take magnesium my prenatals um sometimes vitamin d sometimes iron pills um i would take um and you can take it i would take my fiber gummies and um I would take um, aspirin like every now and then and you know you can take it however you want it whatever time of the day um, I would take it before I ate so like as soon as I'm taking all those medicines or, or all of those pills I would eat something to have something on my on my stomach because um, you know every little thing would make me want to throw up so um, so yeah just make sure that you nourish your body and that also built my immune system, especially like going through the winter time and, you know, people, a lot of people are sick and I wasn't sick. <laughs> like if anything, I've gotten like a little uh, cold. The only time I was feeling like kind of sick is when I got my um, Tdap shot and that's to um, prevent um, your baby from getting whooping cough. It builds antibodies in your body. So, um, so I just decided to get it just you know just in case and um that's the only time but that was because i went and got a vaccine and that's what made me sick so um so just keep in mind you know to take all of your um vitamins minerals and pills it really helps you it really helps um you have a healthy pregnancy and builds up your immunity your immune system and a prenatal so another thing um i got um during my pregnancy was a prenatal massage i never knew this was a thing um, but I went to um, a massage parlor and make sure whoever is massaging, giving you the prenatal massage, they're specialized to work with pregnant women. But just make sure that you you're, you go to somebody who knows what they're doing. So when I went, I went around like in my second trimester and, you know, I just laid on my stomach. There had, there was this pillow that you can, your belly, for your belly to go in and it was very comfortable. Um, now I don't think I could do it at my third trimester i'm just so big but definitely my um second trimester oh i got a nice prenatal massage they um hit all like everything my lower back legs um and uh he told me to drink more water because i wasn't drinking enough water um he rubbed some knots out of my back um that was very very helpful massages are so helpful during pregnancy so definitely i suggest it um you can also look at the side note you can also um uh, like for instance at the YMCA we have you can take um, um, like aerobics classes like to exercise in the water while you're pregnant that's really cool so that's a cool idea if you're interested in that to you know get your muscles moving and stretching it's very important to stretch another thing you're going to need is comfy shoes so um, so since I'm in the military you know I wear boots usually for my uniforms but I bought me a pair of Hoka sneakers H-O-K-A and they're amazing there and um, that's what I wear to work and they support your foot um, I already have wide um, feet so they're very they support your feet very well so I'll definitely suggest comfy shoes hey even Crocs every now and then that don't that doesn't have a lot of support but it's very healthy for you well I constantly ice my um, 
I ice. I don't use this, but I I have an ice bag and I ice my legs and, and I, I, I warm my back. I sleep with a heating pad. I love it so much. Like, it does wonders. And, it, and I have all that, a lot of pressure in my back and it helps, like, get rid of that pressure and it helps me fall asleep as well. So the last thing, but not the least thing, is a baby pump. So I'm going to make a separate video on my baby pump. Um, I'm waiting on it to come in and I'll show you why I chose that baby, that breast pump. Um, and I think I may buy another one, but the one I have is um, wireless and it's really awesome. So of course you're going to need a breast pump. And most women, they get it through their insurance. They get at least one free. Um, I may, I know I will get one, but I may buy another one. Um, one that's not wireless. Um, so I'll definitely um, talk about that in another video, but definitely a breast pump. Okay, girl, sorry about that. My camera died. Last thing um, that I will be getting and I'll be doing a review on it is my, my breast pump. Um, definitely, you definitely need a breast pump eventually, you know, for when the baby comes. Um, if you decide on breastfeeding and if not, it's totally fine. It's up to you. It's really hard, especially if you're a working woman, to breastfeed. Um, it's definitely on the schedule, especially for newborns. You have to feed them every two to three hours, maybe four. So you have to really, you know, be hands on. And, you know, if not, if you don't, if you are not able to breastfeed, that's totally fine. You know, get that baby breezer, honey. <laughs> this is, it makes, it's a bottle maker. So, um, and I definitely suggest that as well. Um, but it's not a necessity, you know, but it is definitely very useful if you're not breastfeeding. But I'm going to try. I'll let y'all know how it goes. Um, so definitely um, a breast pump. So, um, but that's about it as far as like essential things. I'm sure there's so many other things, excuse me, that you can use as a, as a pregnant woman in all of your trimesters. But those are some of the, the, the things that stood out to me personally that I know that I need and I can't live without. So, um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. Let me know if you have any um suggestions or if you have if you if there's some things that worked for you but this is what has worked for me so far as a first time mom um i'm sure there's so much more and so much more to learn <laughs> but this is what's worked for me so i hope you enjoy don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch y'all in my next video Peace.